Hi ladies, um, I will show you some finished products, projects, um, yeah. and then this one is not finished either, but I want to do something uh, in the corners, uh, it really bothers me, but um, I think it is kind of done, uh, and I will do a, a closure in each side, so that is how my Nola fabric end up as a um, clutch. So that is my first project. Then this bag ended up uh, with doilies and I found this uh, um, lace trim I got. It's amazing and I can't get more of it but it's from Retro Laces on Etsy. Uh, they have the most amazing uh, fabric and uh, laces, it's really bridal uh, items and most of them, it's a little bit expensive but they have a lot of uh, flowers on it and everything. I will try, maybe you can hear me now, um, but I ended up uh, doing this to the handle and I'm not going to do more. Uh, and then underneath there's this uh, Chinese trim, I think it's called. Um, I have sewn all the small seed beads on and s small dangles. I didn't want to do too much dangles because if you're going to use it, uh, it will uh, stuck. And uh, I didn't think that was uh, very smart. So. It ended up like this, and then I, I uh, kind of um, did a fine etching here on the bottom. So, yeah. Yes, so that is my finished uh, bag, too. So, I have two finished. <laughs> yeah! Hmm. Yes. Uh, this one, I want to do something with the handle. I haven't uh, figured out what, because if I'm uh, like putting something around it, uh, maybe there's not too much room here. I kind of uh, leave it uh, open like this, so I can take the handle off if I wanted to or not. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, but I did put some fabric trim. It's actually a, a lace, not a lace trim, a fabric trim, pretty wide. Uh, not narrow, but right. Yeah, and then a uh, pink uh, lace, a uh, turquoise, and some Chinese braid. I have uh, two different ones. So yeah. So and then I had some uh, matching paper. Uh, so this one is paper. I want to do something with some cluster of. Uh, uh, flowers, but I wasn't uh, really sure if I wanted to do light or uh, dark, so it depends on how uh, many I have of each of them. And then I took out some of my uh, pearl tubes, uh, where I have, when I've bought pearls, I got them in these, and uh, they end up with a uh, Flower. And yes, that is uh, two different ones. These ones are from Laura and this one is from uh, Diana. Um, this one is also from Diana. This one is from Karen. Karen, uh, this one is a D-stash from Archie. Uh, this zigzag trim, where are you here? Uh, beautiful. Uh, that is from... Um, Diana too, so yeah. So I kind of match these. It's to prepare for my uh, Happy Meals. Uh, so I'm trying to to like uh, prepare some packaging uh, for them because I have a lot of bits and pieces I could just put in and send out as Happy Meals, but I never feel like it's enough. So if I have the packaging, I can see. If there can't be more in this one, there's nothing more going that way. So that's kind of uh, trying to put my limit into st stuff. And then uh, I didn't finish off uh, the box yet, uh, but I wanted to show you the other ones here. These are old, um, you have film 
uh, for cameras in them in the 80s, 90s, so yeah. And I have a lot of them uh, in black and stuff. Uh, I used a lot of uh, trim from uh, from my uh, purchase on uh, uh, Ulala. Uh, so yeah, and then a zigzag that is my own, and this one is from Laura too. Uh, I had some doily. Uh, it's a it was a bigger doily where there was all these flowers. I cut them up and it uh, there was enough for uh, this. Uh, um, yeah, what would you call them? Tubes, not tubes. And this one is really covered because it had an orange uh, topping. And who likes orange when they do shabby chic? I'm not sure. Um, these ones are from, you know, uh, from candlesticks, uh, there's these flowers around, uh, so that's just some petals i put together and a um, right satin little rose uh, I bought on eBay, I think. Uh, I want to do a bling or something in, in the middle, but yeah. So I want to take these tubes uh, colors, this tea dyed uh, color into the box. So I had this one and I thought it was great to cover the side and then I want to do something that match uh, these uh, containers. Yeah. And the topping I'm not sure yet either. Yes. So these ones are done. Then uh, I watched, I also watched uh, Rosy Posy Crafting, I think she made uh, this uh, oh, folded thingy with the, for um, pen, pen holders and uh, Jeanette got inspired and looked uh, at the other video and she looked at some others uh, and uh, I went uh, and, and tried to make uh, <laughs> one of these uh, um, ones and I didn't feel like I wanted to use it for anything so I ended up doing a loaded envelope <laughs> instead. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up like that but uh, yeah I, I did that. And then I watched uh, Wanka is doing her mini envelope uh, journal junk demo and that is why I'm doing um, um, a envelope yeah so I just want to show you um, so what did I do I I folded it as uh, as she did on the video for this uh, pin holder and um, you are taking this end and this end to put together and then you have this uh, three sides uh, holder but I was like that's that's not for me so I thought how am I so I was playing a little with the with the paper and folding it and bam I got this out of it so um, I decorated it, uh, punched a lot of holes in the ends. This is the idea I got from Wonka's uh, beautiful um, <sighs> envelope I got when I received a lot of uh, die cuts and, and so on. Uh, and a closure like this, so it's like a, a shoe lace thing. And then I saw her Tilda um, envelope thing, and I still had a lot of uh, Tilda papers, so I took some of the embellishments. And here I have some uh, sewing thread be uh, behind the uh, buttons, and the buttons is uh, first painted in this um, shiny paint, and then uh, glittered. Uh, 
This one I only glittered the rose and then this one I put some of the crocheted uh, cross stitching uh, thread. Um, this one is just glittered, these ones are only painted with the shimmer uh, paint. So I was thinking what do I send if I send a happy mail? Uh, one napkin. I want to turn the pink down a little so that is why I kept to the light pink and some uh, white uh, and silver. So, and this one is an envelope for those small flowers and some hearts and stuff. I make these ones after I have uh, after um, Valentine uh, because the, yeah the paper was cheap and so on. But I think it's okay uh, to put on this one. So maybe this way. And then uh, some fibers, of course. Then I have a pocket in the middle because I folded the papers together um, so the, I put the long ones I have some uh, some of the pink uh, lace I got from Nola I have some I don't know if you can see this this is organza ribbon in a deep orange a red pink and a burgundy I think and there's pearls and stars and other pearls. I'm not sure how to use these or just to take all the pearls out. But yeah, and then two stick pins with um, also in the pink, bright pink. So, and then I was thinking some buttons uh, and a shaker thingy with some different colors of sequins, a um, uh, image I got from G uh, Karen, sorry Karen, I got from Karen, yeah, and then uh, one of these ones to decorate. Um, yes, like this. And then I am gonna cover it with a uh, Doily here, and then I made some. I've always uh, some charms when I play with some of my pearls, so I just put some of uh, the pearl charms together. And then I took this is uh, one earring, yes. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a round earring that you could put on an earring. Oh, that sounds bad. Well, and I crocheted around it so I couldn't use it as an frame or something like that but I thought it could be fun to just use like this it's the idea is to take everything off this one uh, or put more on it or something like that just to give it like this um, and use it as a closure of course so that is a loaded envelope for me <sighs> I have maybe something I'm going to use it on, but I'm not sure yet, because I haven't understood the direction yet, so, yeah. And then this one, and I did a big mistake on this one, uh, because I cut the envelope like this, and I cut this side, and when I opened it and decorated it, I turned it the other way. So, um, Janine, uh, Janine Dreamer, if you are uh, watching this, you're not the only one that makes mistakes like this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know what to do right now. I think I will cut this. I haven't de decorated all the way, so I will cut it so it match. And, but I did do a like a closure like this, so maybe it doesn't matter. I'm not sure. Well, but inside. I thought it was so pretty with the flowers and I just took a paper and some so I did make a pocket here so that is like these two flowers that I could use here 
and then a pocket underneath here with this one and then this one just to like put a tag or something like that and this one is just a decoration I haven't sh I'm not sure what to do here but um, I just wanted to use it as a um, envelope where I can put stuff in and send it out so I didn't want to do the whole uh, mini junk journal uh, thing so I did uh, find some uh, music paper, antique music paper. I found some from uh, one of the books I just bought. Um, I have an old postcard. This one is from Helsinki, uh, that is in Finland. Uh, looks very antique and everything. I think it's very cute. And then there's a butterfly. Some of my antique uh, trims, and yes, there is some color uh, on it. Uh, maybe the receiver can do something with that. I'm not sure. And then uh, an applique, a cut from a shirt. Very nice applique, actually. Uh, some of these ones, they are napkin rings if anyone wonder. But you can actually use it if you put a, uh, a pearl on the top and some lace dangling down that is like an angel or something like that. Uh, then a doily, an off cut from a doily um, and some, of, some more of the antique laces I have bought very uh, before we moved so yeah. So that is going in a happy mail too. Uh, and I want to do antique happy mails. I know I have. Oh, do I have four or five happy mails that I need to send out? I'm sorry, it's gonna get dark soon, but uh, I will just show you one more thing because Janine, uh, not Janine. Jeannie Dreamer, sorry Jeannie, Jeannie uh, said something about the pocket letter, um, oh, D. Hendrix, Deb Hendrix is doing a uh, challenge, I think, with pocket letters, and I was just thinking it couldn't be that hard. So, I want to show you what I uh, came up with, because I don't have these uh, with um, pockets in it. So, I take one of these ones. I have some stronger ones in the back here. This one is a little bit better. You can get different qualities of these. But these are sometimes they are more normal to have. So I wanted to show you. I'm gonna bend it in three. I am just gonna take from this this end here to this end, and I am gonna try. I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna uh, eyeball it. So I'm just creasing it, and then I will lay it down and. I do like find it here and I try to do this line uh, straight and I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna fold this one over and find the and just do this and then we need nine pockets so of course I'm also going to do it the other way around this is eyeballing it's just going to be fast because of the light so as you can see it's not that great but it's going to be there and then I want to show you because this is my finished one and I did a mistake I put the pockets on the front and why I know it's the front because this one is going on the left left side 
right side, left, left side. Uh, so you can stick it in a uh, yeah folder, whatever. Uh, so we need to not cut it here, but on the other side. And these lines I just made is not the lines I want to cut, but I want to cut underneath because I'm gonna sew on the lines I've just made. So I do. Because I don't want to cut all the way through, I take my, I don't know, board from the kitchen and I take my ruler and I just cut underneath. I think it's, I don't know, three millimeters. I have no idea. Uh, one eighth of a inch, I think. Something like that. And I just move it to the other side here and I just cut it. And I'm not cutting all the way to the end just because I'm not. It's, there's no real reason for that. I'm just going to do a quick one to show you that it's not that hard to make a packet letter. So, and maybe at some point I have time to make a fabric po uh, pocket loader. Uh, so, I am lucky to have these ones. These are uh, papers where there is uh, the image on both sides. If you don't have that, use two sheets. If you uh, if you don't have it in a A4. Uh, then you uh, cut it out so it matches. I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> what the. I know it's it's around 24, 21 inches uh, centimeters in this way. I have no idea in the other. It doesn't matter. But make the make the paper fit. <laughs> yes, you could also do a um, napkin or something like that on a piece of uh, cardboard and put that inside if you want to or on, on fabric if you don't have any uh, papers at all. So should I do, 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 uh, I like this one, I really, really like it. So why I choose this one is because it has like this one is decorated uh, differently in all the corners, so that makes it more interesting. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna cut this. Right. I know I have this cutting board, uh, but this is just faster right now, and the light is going away. So, I have to remember. This one has this uh, shiny glitter on it, the other way it doesn't. So, I want to use this one as my front. And I am gonna, it's gonna be a little tricky, but not that much. So, here. So now I have uh, actually this one in, but now I have like holes in my sheet here. Uh, I have no idea what this one is called in, in English, so it really does not matter. But I wanted to show it because now I'm taking my sewing machine out. I am not sure how to do this with a glue gun, so. I do what I know. So I take my sewing machine. And I will now sew on the lines that I've just made. But I'm gonna do it on the front. Yes, I'm gonna do it on the front because. Hopefully, no, I'm not sure. 
Yes. I'm gonna do these lines on this side first because then this one won't slide to the side. So yeah. Um, I just need to see it. And it's just a straight stitch. Just need to take my shoes off. I'm not going to cut the foot yet. Of course, don't have a scissor, scissor with me, so yeah. But this is actually now my pocket litter. Uh, I have now nine pockets. This was the front, this one is the back. So now I have nine pockets here. I have a beautiful uh, front. Maybe I will do something with the. You don't have to decorate inside, you can decorate outside so maybe a, a teeny tiny trim here or extra trim around and uh, you could do a I don't know an applique here a heart here a I don't know a doily or something like that so <laughs> that is uh, <laughs> my husband is taking pictures of me <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm laughing, but that is actually uh, what you could, uh, how you could do a pocket letter. And if you do a napkin underneath, you still have different uh, uh, styles of, of images in each uh, pocket. And inside the pocket, I will do, for example, like I did on this one. I will put one of these dangles, put it inside, I will do take a little bit of a lace and put it in, I will put an applique, uh, maybe some fibers, some um, sequins, where did I put it here, put that inside, uh, so yeah, and, and this shaker is just a uh, this one is actually a lot, but if you just put three or four different uh, sequence inside in, in colors that matches, uh, it will be okay. Uh, that is enough for a pocket letter. So, um, Teeny Dreamer, I hope you give it a go because it's not that hard. Um, take a napkin. You have tons of napkin, I'm sure of it. And uh, glue it, um, decoupage it on a piece of A4 paper and put it inside. Remember to cut it before. Remember to put something in between uh, the sheets and so you don't cut all the way through. And, and sew it. And you have a pocket letter uh, where you could put something in. And the cool thing about pocket letters is that you don't have to put tons of things inside. It can just be like this or uh, two buttons, um, I don't know, two blinks or something like that. It doesn't have to be very much. It's just the thought that is the point of everything. So yes, uh, I will say uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great weekend. 
the next video will be my series. I am gonna prepare it this weekend. Um, and I'm finished with all my um, with my work day day work. Uh, uh, I told you I didn't get paid. Uh, it's from the union. Uh, so yeah, um, I I did a lot of hard work, and it was too hard for me. My back killed me <laughs> almost. Uh, so yeah, I'm finished with that. Yes. Uh, and now I can go back to working at a store instead. So yeah, I have found a um, uh, antique uh, place uh, where I can get uh, uh, some some hours uh, at her place, and let's see what uh, it's gonna be. So yeah, uh, that was just some personal stuff. Um, but uh, give it a go and. Uh, it was Deb Hendrix, the is something about 800 subscribers. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at Deb's uh, video yet, but um, I just thought this one, we can do this. We have to do it. Even though we are uh, fabric ladies, let's do some paper. That we can do it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>